What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to download uh, shape file data from uh, ArcGIS. So before you can do that you need to have uh, ArcGIS online account and to just go to the browser and if you don't have one let me show you how to, to open it. Just type S3. I'll provide a link to this. Uh, S3 login and uh, click enter and then uh, select the second uh, the second link for ArcGIS online uh, just click on sign into S3 uh, so when this sign in uh, dialog window opens up uh, if you have your account you can just click and sign in but, but if you don't have uh, click on this uh, create an ArcGIS public account click on that and then now you can feed in your information and uh, click next then you'll you receive a confirmation uh, email uh, showing you that you have already created your account so if we open up uh, ArcMap so that we can download data some data and this applies to all versions of uh, ArcMap application desktop ArcGIS desktop so say we want to add uh, data from uh, ArcGIS online just on this uh, add data uh, button click on that arrow and then click add data from ArcGIS online then when this window opens up uh, First, make sure that you select uh, this data uh, radio button and then click on sign in. Now, here you're going to provide uh, the username for that you created using the public account for ArcGIS Online. So, I have so just provide the correct uh, username. And then sign in now you can see now uh, you are signed in uh, you can now search the data that you want let's say I, ha I want uh, administrative I want Kenya administrative shape file and I'm going to click on this search then i'm going to scroll through all this data you can also let me have a look at this one uh, you can have a look at the day uh, the details and the description here will tell you everything that we need that is all about uh, this data you can look at properties views uh, you can see that uh, the size you can also look at the comments now, if I want now to download or to add this to ArcMap, just click on this Add button. And this now depends on the sp uh, speed of your internet. You need to, if you want uh, good performance, you need to have a good internet connection. Now you can see our data has been added so uh, I can just uncheck this so that you can have a look at all these uh, layers so let's say we want these uh, points you can just right click on this uh, table of uh, content click on this layer and then right click uh, go to data and export so navigate to where you want to store this uh, particular layer and uh, give it a name and the 
file type should be shape file click save click ok you want to add that now select the second layer so that you can have what we have we can see what we have here and you can also uh, open the attribute table to have a look at what is inside so this uh, I, I believe these are constituencies i can just right click again the same process export and see one click save click ok we want to add and you can then select that now this one check that and uh, so this one also look like uh, uh, these are counties you can right click and go to properties go to attribute table have a look at what is inside so this is a these are cons uh, counties uh, within kenya uh, so again export and say click save click ok click yes so can I check that is just similar to this constituencies but you can as well this one is uh, you can see it's a uh, uh, polyline and this one looks like uh, you have polygons so it's also good to export Now that we have all this data we don't need this uh, other one from the just only you can delete that and if I open up uh, the shape file where we have just uh, stored this data you can see now we have everything so that's how you can actually import uh, or that's how you can download data from uh, uh, ArcGIS online using uh, the ArcGIS or ArcMap application. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, see you in the next one.